Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries, back in the garage with another video. And beside me, we have the beautiful 2023 Suzuki GSX 8S. And in today's video, I will be guiding you through the installation process of the TechSpec USA Gripster Tank Grips. Now, this is a pretty straightforward installation process. If you have a heat gun and some denatured alcohol, you will be ready to go. But before we jump into the installation process, I do wanna highlight on this particular bike, this kit does contain five separate pieces, one of which being the center tank grip, as well as this kit being offered in two variants, which are the snakeskin finish along with the XL2 finish. In this video, I will be installing the snakeskin finish kit and I will include the center tank protector, but please note, TechSpec USA does design and cater these kits to each specific bike. Some kits may be a two-piece kit, some kits may be a three-piece, and some may be five or six. Please read the description of the products before you are purchasing them so you are not disappointed during the installation process. Now, as I mentioned, this installation guide is very straightforward. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump right in. So with our kit in hand, let's go ahead and open the packaging. As you can see, TechSpec USA does offer uh, installation instructions. These are very general uh, guidance instructions. You can read over those, I would highly suggest them. But going into the actual kit, first thing we are going to open is the center tank protector. Now, as I mentioned, TechSpec USA does design this kit per bike. On some models, the, tank, the center tank protector is a rectangle, others it is a trapezoid. On this one, they're doing their traditional spine design. So that'll go right in the center. And moving on from that, let's get rid of our stickers. Moving on from that, we do have the main components of this kit. So you can see here, we have the two main tank protectors and uh, grips. The larger pieces will go on the upper portion of the tank. And pulling the remainder, the two remaining pieces out of the packaging, you can see here we have some smaller ones and they will line up on this lower tank shroud, if you will. Now, we have two different finishes here. Tech spec does make it very clear that if you have applied any sort of ceramic coat or protectant on your fairings, they cannot guarantee this kit will adhere properly. So please, please, please note that if you have gone ahead and done any sort of tank protector or, or paint protector on your bike, you may have issues installing tank grips. But other than that, the only thing TechSpec recommends is cleaning off the tank. For that, we will go ahead and use some isopropyl. Denatured alcohol is fine. Apply some to a microfiber rag and just wipe off the surface. That will help get rid of any debris and grease that may be left behind from you touching your bike. And then we will heat up the grips with our heat gun and apply them to the surface. So let's go ahead and do that now. We will begin by cleaning our surface. And we will let that dry off. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and grab our heat gun and line these up. Now we do have some customers and in previous videos we have shown using blue uh, tape or just tape in general to line the grips up onto the fairings, making a hinge of sorts. That way you can just peel and drop. In this video, we will skip over those. We're gonna eyeball this as most people will in their garage. That sits just about right on the edges, lower edges of the tank and follows the contours perfectly. And once it is applied, we will use a large cylinder like this socket to roll over the tank grips, making sure that it adheres on every surface and every little curve. Let's go ahead and heat up our tank grips now. And we will peel off the backing. Now very carefully, we will line up the edges, starting on one side press along, making sure you're trying to get all the curves down. 
once it's applied, if you have a large cylinder or a large socket would be perfect, you're just gonna go ahead and roll over the surface. Please make sure you do not scratch your fairings or your tank. We're just making sure that this is coming in contact on every edge. Now we will repeat those steps on this bottom section. You can see here, it does line up perfectly with the contour of that piece. They are side specific. If you tried to install it on the opposite side, you would have issues. We've already cleaned our surface, so let's heat up the material now. And again, being very careful that we're not touching the adhesive on the back side. We're going to line this up and starting on one side. Now we'll grab our makeshift tool and just go over it a couple of times, ensuring that this is coming in contact properly, just like we did on the top. And now with the upper one cooling down, we're gonna do another once over with our makeshift tool. Now we will go ahead and apply the center protector, and then we can go ahead and repeat the steps on the opposite side. And now with our center protector already preheated, let's go ahead and peel the backing off. And we're going to base it off of this bottom curve on the leading to the upper portion of the tank. We're going to place it first and then gently apply the upper portion and just like that. Now we will grab our tool and just roll over the edges. And you really wanna make sure you get some of these corners. Corners on any tank grips will be the first pieces to peel up if it is going to happen, just like any sticker or any vinyl that you would apply. If there's a corner that can catch on something and peel, that will be the first place where you see failure. Now we can repeat these steps on the opposite side and we'll be ready to ride. And just like that, as you can see, we've now introduced new points of grip that will help tremendously during heavy acceleration, heavy braking, or when you're diving deep into those corners. Not only will these help improve those areas of grip and contact and feel for your bike, but it will also help reduce fatigue during those riding conditions where you may find yourself sliding around the seat or over the tank. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you wanna check out these tank grips for the Suzuki GSX-8S or any other bike that may be in your garage, be sure to stop by our website, tstindustries.com. The link to these grips can be found in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just wanna say hey, do so in the comment field below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with all the new and exciting videos we've got going on. And lastly, be sure to stop by our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all username TST Industries. For now, this has been Mark in the TST Garage. We'll catch you next time.